Hello everyone, welcome back to Planet Coaster and welcome back to Hex, the one-to-one -one recreation within the video game Planet Coaster. Of course, today we are moving to the front of the facade. Well, I say actually it's not a facade, is it? You know, it's not a facade, it's a building. We're moving to the front of the building and we're doing the main extended queue line that comes around like um, in an arch shape outside the actual tower entrance. I've never seen this queue line be used because it never needs to be used. If you've been to Walton Towers, you'd know Hex never ever has a weight. Um, I assume it's just because it's really good throughput. I, I really don't know. But here I'm just using Freemakers Toolkit fence pieces because they fit the best really. You know, I always knew I had these pieces in my inventory as was, and I used them in the uh, previous recreation of Hex as well before that all got deleted. But let's not talk about that. Uh, so yeah, seriously, go on the Female Goose Toolkit workshop and have a look around because there's some really, really good items on it. I believe idro has been putting up a lot of uh, B&M supports and connectors and B&M track accessories. Um, and a lot of other people have also been like putting up uh, kits of realism and stuff. Like the TMTK workshop really has some good stuff on it. And you'll see later on in the episode, we actually do some TMTK stuff for the hex sign as you saw in the cinematics. I will be going into Blender in just a couple minutes' time to make those hex signs. Yes, this is going to be the first ever time I've actually shown Blender on the channel. I did it so much for Smiler, but I never bothered showing it. But uh, yeah, we'll do it with hex. Um, there's not really much to talk about with, the, with these fences, it's literally just copy and pasting the fences all over. Um, very, very simple and easy to do, and these outlines actually helped a lot. If you want to make a recreation in Planet Coaster, it's very important that you get really, really small details on your outlines. So you can do stuff like this. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me, hey, can you do some sort of tutorial where, we, um, where you tell us how to do these? Um, billboards and how to get it accurate to the planet coaster measurements. I will be doing a tutorial on that in the coming weeks. I'll also be doing a TMTK tutorial uh, for like basic signs because that's the most I can do. I can't really do advanced 3D models with a ton of details. I'm not that good a blender. I can only do like 2D signs and that and yeah. So um, I will be doing a tutorial on that as well. There is going to be a few planet coaster tutorials coming up. Um, I just thought, you know, with Hex being the only series right now, it would be good to have another series to do. Um, so yeah, so I've done the main sort of, uh, what would you call them, like the outer fences of this queue line. And I'll just copy and paste them over to do the inner, fen inner fences, sorry. And it's basically just a cattle pen that goes back and forth, back and forth, and you finally go into the building. Thank God I've never had to wait in that queue because... Um, I would not want to wait in it. It's it's a massive cattle pen queue, and yeah, it's it's horrible, really. It is all cattle pen queues are horrible, but um, well, that's why they're cattle pen. But whilst the queue in real life is really horrible, it was very very easy to build it in Planet Coaster because it's so so simple. Um, I really like queue layouts like this because they're so easy and so simple to build. Smiler's queue line was horrible. Smiler's queue line was the worst queue line I've ever built because a the original plans didn't have accurate um, queue line because I don't know why they changed the actual plans um, in in the plans before the Smiler got built the entrance was actually going to be underneath the back wing in the Cobra area and you'd be able to walk all underneath that area and there would be a massive plaza there and then the entrance to the queue line would be where the marmalizer is and yeah it was all different on the original planning application. Go and look it up on Google Images. You'll see that the entrance is, you know, by the marmalizer, and you can walk down all underneath the bat wing and the cobra roll. It's a shame it wasn't like that in real life. That would have been amazing, but oh well. Some something changed. I don't know. But here, just doing the hedges. Just using the planet coaster in game hedges. Didn't bother doing anything fancy because. What's the point? A, uh, I need to keep the piece count down, and I say that in every single recreation, and I never do. But this time, I really do need to try and keep the piece count down, because I'm planning to do the entirety of the towers, and I haven't settled on a decision just yet. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking about doing Walliams World because it's literally just behind that clock tower wall you see uh, just in the background of the video. Uh, and of course they've got the new ride there, Gangster Granny the Ride, so I'm very tempted to do it. I don't know if I will though, I might just, um, I, I, I don't know really, I really don't know. 
But uh, I think I finished the queue line now, just uh, making the final few amendments to it to make it all symmetrical and look um, in order and everything. You know, the usual stuff you need to do in Planet Coaster, really. Um, now, I don't recommend. Uh, yeah, there's something to do. I don't recommend um, copy and pasting like an inner curve of the queue line to make an outer curve. I might as well have just done it fence by fence because this did not work at all. I had to make a ton of amendments. I don't know why I did it like that. I think I was just being lazy at the time, so it's like, eh, let's do it like this. And it didn't really end out end up looking um, that good. So I think I will go back into Planet Coaster and redo that. So here I'm actually starting the staircase that comes out of the tower in um, you know in before Hex was here, this staircase, well not not just before Hex was here, before the entire park was there, this staircase was supposed to be like the, um, I think this was the front entrance to the towers. The, there was an entrance right on the other side of the towers, which would be the entrance for like the carriages and um, guests and all that, and then I think this entrance was for staff. I don't, I don't think it was, I'm not sure, I think this entrance was for the servants and that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but so yeah, it's it's a really weird staircase as well because it's this, it's kind of a curved skirt staircase. Sorry, um, it's not just straight down like you'd think it should be. It's curved. I don't know why it's curved, um, but it just is. Here I'm doing the pillars where in real life there are like dogs holding the Alton Towers crest. Um, however, of course we don't have that in Planet Coaster, and I I'm not. A good app model making in Blender to actually make a Tim TK piece of that. So you'll see later in the video I just settled for the gargoyle statues from the spooky DLC. They work just as well. Um, of course it's not entirely accurate but it, it works. Here I'm using the roof tiles to do, um, I don't know what they're called but like the slanted pieces that go along this wall. I, d I don't know the technical term for them but uh, anyway the the roof tiles just seem like the most obvious piece to use for this part of the staircase because I used them all the other slanted parts of the walls and everything as you can see right there in the background they just work so well to be honest um, yeah they look a bit odd you know because you can like make out that they're one by one instead of one solid piece but um, I don't I don't think there is another piece in the game that works as well it has this there are like smaller pieces that are smaller than roof tiles that I could have used but then again they don't have the same texture as the roof tiles and because they don't really have the same texture it would look out of place and a bit horrible to be honest um, so just copy and pasting them over to here so I can um, what was I going to say so I can actually work on them independently instead of you know having to multi-select them um, another you can see right there another glitch of planet coaster uh, another time I can't select the object and it, yeah, it's just annoying so here we are in blender I did mention at the start of the video we'll be going into blender so this is the hex banner sign this is what I'm making here the actual hex banner sign whatever you want to call it um, it's, it's very very simple to do in blender I will be doing a tutorial on how to do it um, well, not this sign specifically but just a normal standard sign that you can put in Planet Coaster they are very very easy to do all you have to do is just make a plane put an image on it and there you go you're all set um, what I found quite difficult was to get this curve right to us because of course the banner isn't just one straight banner it's bent um, so but it's not it's not really bent 90 degrees like Blender's trying to do right now so it was kind of a bit iffy to do it and also the image was getting like stretched out along the bottom and so I had to try and fix that and make it look natural um, but I got I got there eventually in the end and it turned out quite decent as well and uh, yeah it, when I eventually got the model finished in Blender I had to you know import it to the TMTK website so that will convert it into a file you can put in your Planet Coaster files and then you can finally plot it into the game but each time I did that I you know it got glitched some um, one time it, the texture of it was just solid white and as you can see there, you know, that's a failed attempt right there on your screens where the textures just got inverted, they got like put inside out basically um, and I was trying my best to fix it, turns out um, Blender and Planet Coaster render things differently so, um, but there you go, there's the final version, I finally got it to work um, and it, it turned out really nice, I really liked the way it turned out and um, the sign for Hex is quite weird as well because 
I don't know why. They can't just have just a sign that says Hex. They have to have all this artwork on it, even though the artwork resembles what's already in front of you. It's, yeah, it's a bit of a weird sign in my opinion. I, I don't know why they have the banners there, you know, just have a sign that says Hex. Don't need this fancy art, art piece banners when the art is of the building right in front of you. Um, it works though, it works. That's the that's what matters. Um, but uh, yeah, just doing... Just, oh, I'm losing my train of thought here. Just copy and paste in the sign. And we're going to the next clip of the time lapse in a minute. Um, and the next clip is actually going to be the start of the main sort of armory, the main queue line, where you walk all the way down that corridor to get to the first pre-show. So we will be going to that clip in just a few seconds. Oh yes, here we go. Um, so this is the main corridor that leads you all the way down to the first pre-show. It's a very, very um, intimidating corridor. I believe this corridor is called the armory, um, you know, because that's what it used to be, basically. And also I think, before Hex was even built. Um, this part of the towers didn't have a roof, it was like the other parts of the towers that don't have a roof. Um, of course they wanted to put the ride in here so they needed to make a roof. So the roof you see going down this um, queue line isn't the original roof which is quite interesting actually. Uh, just putting a wall there to cover off all the misplaced bricks because of course can't really do anything uh, to them because if I do something to them then it's gonna look weird on the other side so I figured just you know a wall will just be the safer option yes it, I, that does sacrifice the bell that is in there in real life um, when you first enter there's like a massive bell on two wooden pallets just sitting there I don't know why there's a bell there to be honest of all things to place in a queue line for scenery and they choose a bell it doesn't even have any like reference to the ride like, there are no references to bells in Hex, I don't know. Another interesting thing about this armory, uh, Q-Line, whatever you want to call it. Oh, it's slanted there. Am I going to fix that? Yeah, I'm fixing it now, I think. Um, another interesting story, and I say story, not fact, story, because I don't think this is actually true, but a lot of um, guests riding Hex and a lot of staff members going down this Q-Line in, like, in all the time that Hex has been opened, some people reported um, ghostly children throwing stones at them. Um, I honestly think that's bullshit. I don't think these ghostly children are real, and it's just people um, spreading rumors and bullshit and everything. Because in all the times I've ridden Hex, I've never had a, f a stone thrown at me. And I think Most Haunted, which is a TV program in the UK, it's like um, if you're in the US, you have Ghost Adventures, it's like that, but a British version. It's not on there anymore, they cancelled it years ago. But they went to Alton Towers to investigate the entirety of the towers. You can watch the episode on YouTube, it's like an hour long episode, I think. Um, and they were in the Hex Q line, which is what I'm building now. And um, they got a stone thrown at them, which, you know, someone literally just could have done that wasn't in the camera shot. They say like, oh, we can confirm no one threw that, no, well, yeah, but you might be lying though. There were only, there was like four of them in a group, but only two of them in the camera shot. So one of the other two could have just thrown a stone and they could have just said, oh yeah, that stone was just thrown at us um, mysteriously. Yeah, but like the entire theory of the towers being haunted, I think is just bullshit. Um, I don't really believe in ghosts myself. I don't think many other people do either, but you know, if if you're feeling um, a bit optimistic and you want to try and ghost hunt in the towers, you know, the towers are open from about the start of the season um, to around May or June time before they close the Scarefest. So if you want to go ghost hunting in the towers, you're welcome to do that if you want, but you know, it's broad daylight. And that's that's another thing as well. Why Why do like people always hunt for ghosts in night? Like, why does night change anything? Like, surely you would just get the same results during the daytime, because it's not like the ghosts just appear at night out of nowhere. I, I don't know, I really don't know. Um, but yeah, something I've never noticed before is that the flooring of the queue line is different to the actual flooring of the entire corridor. Um, 
I never, never noticed that. I only noticed that when looking at a reference image of the queue line. I was just like, oh, wow. I, did, I didn't even know the floor were different colours. An interesting fact, really. Um, so here I'm just starting the side wall that goes along. Um, it took me a while to get this right because it's all like on a different level to the path outside the main entrance. I, it's, it's really weird, basically. It's all on like different levels and everything. And so it was quite difficult to get the the height of the wall correct and like the placing of it because I would get the height of the wall correct as you'll see later on but then the window placing was incorrect from the queue line. Anyway I am gonna leave you here for the rest of the time lapse so there's only a few minutes left so uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video then please do consider subscribing and of course there will be more hex videos to come in the coming weeks and we'll eventually get this entire recreation done and it's not just hex we are doing the towers and potentially Valium's world so uh, yeah make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for more episodes of hex thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all very very soon goodbye